Let's talk about what we know, what we don't know. The GOP panel in the House Oversight Committee has yet to prove the following. Some things you highlighted. President Biden is connected to these payments. They haven't proven that. They haven't pro pro proven that the payments were illegal. And they also haven't proven that Biden's foreign policy decisions were influenced by these payments. But there is a question of appropriateness and if it's ethical, do you think it's ethical for the family of a sitting vice president to be getting paid millions by foreign entities like the House GOP members are claiming? I don't know. I mean, Jared Kushner took two billion dollars from the Saudis. You know, was that ethical? Uh, I mean, look, we're not the ethical committee. There's an ethics committee. They want to they want to investigate ethics issues. They can do that. There is no appropriateness committee. If they want to investigate appropriateness issues, they can do that. If they want to make these arguments in the media where they can talk about appropriateness, they should do so. But to to take hostage the oversight committee, uh, and you even admit in your question, no evidence President Biden was involved, no evidence of criminal behavior, no evidence, no evidence. They haven't proven this. They haven't proven that. Uh, and so really all it is is campaign performance art trying to uh, somehow convince the American public that you know there's some sort of biden crime family i mean they're so bipolar in their messaging every day they go on tv and they say joe biden is old joe biden is sleepy joe biden is in his basement now they're trying to convince the american public that joe biden is some international super mastermind it's totally ridiculous and the american people have to see through that we got real issues we got the debt ceiling we got the issue in ukraine we got the issue in china these are real issues we need to be talking about not, you know, what what was on Hunter Biden's laptop. I would love to talk about those issues at and any time you want to come on. I would love to talk about any of those issues. I do want to get your reaction to something that your colleague said. Congressman James Comer said this when he was asked about President Trump and his family's business dealings. He specifically said this about Jared Kushner. Former President Trump's son-in-law had some business deals, right? As Byron Donald said, we know what his businesses were. I'm not saying whether I agree with what he did or not, but I actually know what his businesses are. What are the Biden businesses? What business? What's your reaction to his response there? Yeah, so look, that, that's a nice deflection by Comer because obviously he knows that if he's going to go down this line of thought that the Trump family has dramatic exposure. It's the same questions. What foreign policy was influenced in the Trump administration? by Jared Kushner taking $2 billion. What was the $2 billion for? Why would a foreign government give him $2 billion? Why would they stay at the Trump Hotel? We can do this all day long, this what if, what if, what if. Uh, and, and so, you know, th that's a nice deflection by the chairman. But like I said, if they now want to go down this line of thought that they're going to start going after the family members of presidents, and that's a can that they want to open two years from now, Jared Kushner is going to be in front of our committee. I want to read you some coverage of this report from your colleagues. Here's a CNN headline. House Republicans allege Biden family members received millions in payments from foreign entities in new bank records report. And this is just a snippet from time. The evidence so far does not directly implicate President Biden, but does suggest his son may have profited off of his famous name. What is your message to Americans who read this and find this action, although they have yet to prove it illegal, they might have a problem with it. They think it's inappropriate. They think it's unethical. Well, look, if if the American people conclude that they think it's unethical and that's the top issue for that particular voter, then they can vote a certain way. That's the, the beauty uh, of America. But listen, let's let's be honest. What's going on here is they are talking to a Fox News Newsmax, OEN bubble, trying to gin up as much anger, get people foaming out of the mouth, trying to convince that, you know, somehow you got the Sopranos running the United States government. OK, and, you know, they're just trying to warp, warp people's mind, uh, you know, at the end of the day, as you said, no evidence, no proof, no evidence, no proof allegations. Well, they've been they've been looking at this for months and months and months. They have unlimited resources in the oversight. They're going to the Treasury Department. If they have evidence, they should bring it forward. Uh, let's see it. And by the way, you'll find Democrats to be reasonable. If someone broke the law, they should be held to account. That is our position. Uh, it's been our position with the former president, and we should be consistent on that issue.
Congressman, I'm really curious as to what your constituents are saying. Obviously, back in Trump's presidency, there was widespread criticism of Don Jr., Ivanka, Jared Kushner, Eric Trump of profiting off their father's presidency. Now there's questions regarding Hunter Biden's business dealings. Simply put, point blank, do voters care about the president's children, regardless of party? See, I, I don't think they do. And, and look, I'm not one who, quite frankly, wants to go look at the president's kids. I, I just don't think that's where we should be doing. I think it's a good function of Congress. But, you know, if the Republicans are going to start this new precedent, that they're going to start looking at, you know, conduct of the president's children, then obviously we got to look at the full the full gambit. But I, I, quite frankly, don't think voters care what Kushner Ivanka did. And I don't think they care what Hunter did or, or did not do. If someone broke the law, I think they would care. But there's no evidence uh, at all that any laws have been broken. Congressman, it sounds like that you want to move on from this investigation. And as you said to me now, as you said yesterday during a House Oversight Committee, you want to focus on, quote, real government oversight. What does that look like? Well, I mean, he, like, here's a here's a great topic. So right now there are reports that uh, there are shortages in chemotherapy treatments, that there are supply chain issues. I mean, these are questions we should be bringing the FDA in front of the committee and finding out what the Biden administration is doing to address these supply chain issues. That's real government oversight. There are rules being promulgated in agencies that some folks disagree with. We should be bringing them in front of the oversight committee. That's real government oversight. We wanna talk about COVID and COVID funds and COVID programs, we should bring those agencies in front of the oversight committee. That's real government oversight. Oversight, But these, you know, rabbit hole, Hunter Biden investigations, laptop, no laptop. By the way, we've been talking about this laptop for like a year and a half. Where is it? Where's the laptop? Show it to the American people. Show us the laptop. You know, it, this is just, you know, they, they throw something out and they know it can go viral. And if you just throw out an allegation, they know people will take it to be true. But it's not real government oversight. And we are so far beyond what this committee should be doing. Uh, it's turned into a, quite a circus. Congressman, from the sounds of it, it sounds like you could really get bipartisan support on those issues that you mentioned. I hope you come back on anytime and discuss them with me. Congressman, thank you so much for coming on. Thank you so much.